What's up, guys? It's your boy Chris here with Team APS. And I'm Calvin. And we taking the twin spot. And Paul, he's away in Germany for something, so we taking over the channel. Yeah. And today, we want to talk to you guys about some problematic cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. The cards we hate. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it varies from person to person. But these are the cards that we find to be most annoying. <laughs> so we're going to jump right into the list. Let's go. I'm going to start out with my first card. I don't care how long it's been around, but Ash Blossom is hella annoying to me. Is it really, though? Is it? Ash Blossom hits everything. And before you can say, oh, you can use Call by the Grave, all that kind of stuff, I don't care. But you See, can use Call by the Grave. It don't matter. <laughs> Feel Grave, it, it hits everything. And then it does not target. Any kind of starter card that you can think of, ask him more than more than likely hit it. I mean, but at this point, I, I feel like it's more of a necessary evil than something you need to just get rid of. It's not a this. It's too versatile. That's what it all come down to me. It's not a, it's not necessary. It's just a card that hit too much. I don't want to. I don't want to have to focus that hard on my moves to play around that one card. It's annoying as hell. Tell me I'm lying. I, I, I disagree. Uh, How can you? Like I said, I think Ash Blossom is a necessary evil in the game. Just because, like, it pretty much is lets you combat every deck in the game. You know, some decks don't lose to one Ash Blossom. It's only once per turn. Okay, okay. Think about this way, though. Honestly. It's literally one card. Whenever you play Yu-Gi-Oh, it's the one card you always think your opponent has in their hand. You have to play around it. That is that, true. That makes it annoying. That is true. I mean, it's annoying, but is it bad worthy? It's annoying. <laughs> I guess we can just agree to get, disagree with that. Um, we're going to jump to the second card, though. The second card, in my opinion, and I'm sure you're going to agree with this, Inspector Border. Yes. It's a stall card to me. I feel like a lot of times people just play Inspector Border because they can't beat you. That turn, so they play Inspector Border because they know you can't beat them if they play it. And they play and they play with a bunch of traps. So a bunch of generic traps that's going to stop you from doing stuff. And you already got Border stopping you from activating effects, which stops the Ash Blossom that we just mentioned because I can't activate effects because I don't have different kind of types of monsters on the field. I feel like Inspector Border is a card. I don't feel like it needs to be banned. But a limit is warranted because a lot of times you just have people like game one, they get blown out. Game two, we side inspect the border. Game three, they probably get blown out again. So sometimes it promotes bad Yu-Gi-Oh in a sense, in my opinion, because a lot of times you pretty much decided in for game two. You're not main decking unless you're just playing a pure anti-meta deck, which right now we don't really have too many pure anti-meta decks. And then something to think about on is like, I feel like it's like the... Not in the sense of the new Thunder King, but like the updated version. Because back then, yeah. 1900 was hard to get by. It was. This is a regular, just normal summon monster with 2000. I mean, but even if you look at it like that, it's much more annoying than Thunder King. Because it just sits there and not let, and not let you and do anything. Thunder King wise, oh, I'm just going to banish 2 4 Chaos Sorcerer. <laughs> are you going to leave Thunder King on the field? Or are you gonna you gonna destroy it and get rid of my chaos sorcerer? Yeah, the Thunder King is all annoying. This is the new annoying. It's but Thunder, but I, I don't think Thunder King was ever this annoying. Nah, not up to you the know, degree, but you know, the, it's the I best mean, I could think of. The ability to not search does hurt, but I don't think Thunder King was ever this annoying. Because this is a different and effect based game these days. So sitting on Inspector Border and five traps is. So we're in agreement. Inspector Border. This one we can't agree on. Inspector Christmas Borders, right. get it out of here. Get it out of here. Now for the next one, this is a card that's been gradually coming off the ban list, then one, then two, then three. Super pilot. Konami, what were you thinking? I don't know why. I'm so scared of Super Pilot and I'm so annoyed by it. Look here, bro. That card literally says, I activate this. You can't do I nothing. You can't respond to why would you do that? You can't do anything to respond to it. Now I get it gives heroes a boost. Like you've been giving heroes boost every pack you release. I don't even <laughs> care about the hero. It just takes two dark, two dark monsters, and then they figure out starving venom and stuff. Like I can understand if it was just a hero card. You know how it's many not even just a hero dark card. Dark monsters. Every deck runs dark monsters. And you made a quick play, 
So they can do it during my turn? Snatch my whole field? Every deck can play this. And at the cost of just running one monster in your extra deck to bring out and counter your opponent. I'm getting annoyed and frustrated thinking about the card. Thinking about the fact that my opponent can now play three of them. I can't lie. I was glad to see it come back to three. But I do still realize how problematic that card is. Then they got pretty plans so the card searchable. <laughs> what was it? What, what were y'all? Nah. I want to know who was like sitting there at the table like, you know, we should bring Super Bowl back to A three. A quick play where I can use my opponent cards that can't be responded to. <laughs> And it said three. Good job. Y'all, yeah, y'all did that one. Annoying. Really? So I think we're in agreement with this one. It was, this that was kind of short, but we agree with it. Super Poly, I don't know if it deserves to be banned, but I don't know if it deserves to be at three either. I think it can go back to one. One, one seems fine. One is like, okay, side I may pull it, I may not. Three, you're going more than likely to see it. And I mean, it can't you know, change the game. At least it's not searchable. <laughs> And then you got pretty plans. Now we're gonna move on to the next card. Next card, it's kind of controversial, but in my opinion, Mystic Mind. As soon as Mystic Mind came out, it got played instantly because people knew how much um, as an ass card it was gonna be. It was going to stall and stop your opponent from doing stuff. They should just rename Mystic Mind Shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, it. <laughs> People are finding ways to pretty much play decks that are just inconsistent because of Mystic Mind. And it also, it, and it, it's kind of one of the things where, like, I feel like Konami knew it was going to annoy. Kind of like when Chicken Game first came out, yeah. they knew they messed up with that, and it got away fast. But my thing is, even like Chicken Game, we knew, everybody knew it was going to be annoying. Konami knew it was annoying. They didn't get rid of Mystic Mind this time around. Which I'm not sure why. They got rid of the card that just sets it from the deck. Metaverse. And then got Terraform into one. And it's still here, so you can still draw it. You can still hard draw yeah, it. Yeah, you can still run it at three, which means yes. And then as many draw cards as the game has. Like, it's just it's just one of them cards, but like, it can literally help out any deck because it stalls your opponent for so long. Imagine. If you can just draw into the cards that you need. Imagine going full Orcus combo. And your opponent got two Mystic Minds. <laughs> Your monsters just sitting there. I mean, they can't do anything. You got them. Imagine, imagine going full combo, no matter what deck you play, unless you can just negate two Mystic Minds. Yeah, it's just like your opponent like, playing Striker just go mine. Yeah, it's just it's that annoying to where, unless you have the answer for it, your opponent is going to get the advantage and cards they need to get. I mean, over but your but board. look at the bright side. We got Mystical Space Typhoon. We got just cards like Twister. We got cards like Twin Twister. It's in your side, so game when you lost to a Mystic Mind, and now you just as annoyed as I am making this video. Yeah, that's true. It, it's annoying. Mystic Mind is probably the most annoying card on this list, in my opinion. You want to know a way people can draw it? With the card I hate, it's just annoying to me right now. Danger. Also, this is the next card on the yeah, list. Yeah, not even the next annoying. card. It's like the next. Yeah, da it's like the next six card engine in your deck. I don't care what I say. <laughs> dangerous or annoying because dangerous drag the game out so long. I have to reveal it, then I have to shovel my hand twenty times. I have to lay my cards out on the field. And then if your opponent is just, they got to roll a die. Your opponent. It depends on your opponent because sometimes they want to roll the dice. Sometimes they want to choose the card. Sometimes like, they want to play any, many, mighty mo. Sometimes they want to play hopscotch. Like it really just depends on what they want to do. Choose that card out your hand. It makes the game <laughs> long, and then if you miss, it's something to the field. It's something to the field, and it's like this is the link format. Oh, they draw another card. Then they draw another card, and usually they're running more than just one deck. And mind you, this is a, this is anywhere from a six to eight card engine in your deck. And it's also, and it could be more if you want it to be more. I mean, I understand that the Discord effects are once per turn, but Konami made to where their reveal effects are not once per turn. Right. So as many dangers they have, it just keeps going and going and going and going. It does. It, it does pretty much allow you just to play. And I think this deck itself kind of has the same BA feel because with BA monsters, essentially they all have the same effect. <clears throat> they all have the same effect. You reveal them, you discard them, you special with BA. Anytime something is sent to the graveyard. You activate an effect. But they it, all have the effect where they say if you don't control a set spell or trap card, you can a set or spell a trap card in your spell a trap card zone. You can special summon a card from your hand. But they were all they have that enough effect. to where they going they're going to replace themselves the way danger. Does. Not not that annoying, which is why I feel like 
hitting them on the last ban list was a great thing. But they should have been there one. Eventually, yeah. it's gonna get to a point where they're gonna have to they're gonna have to hit these cards even harder because I don't feel like power creep will ever do something this good. Anything that's like like I said, a longer game state, and then with the with the new time rules, a longer game state. And your opponent just plusing them. Nah, they, yeah. nah, I don't have time for Being that. Being able to plus, being able to just build a board off of one card. Thank you for the TCG exclusives. We love them, but danger. Nah, you can take them somewhere. It, you know, it, 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 ain't gonna hurt, it ain't gonna hurt us until OTG gets here. Yeah, we, <laughs> we know how that goes. We know how that goes. Now, the last card on the list, one a lot of people might not agree with, <clears throat> a lot of people might not even think it's that broken. But it's a card that came out. When this card came out, you could probably pick them up for about 10 to 15 bucks. This card eventually ended up being about 50 bucks. And the card I'm talking about is Trap Trick. <laughs> at I what point? I don't know if I feel like that card is Ace of Illinois. But at what point is it okay for your opponent just to activate, a, just to set a trap card from the deck that they can activate on the same turn they set it with another trap card? Do you realize what that card says? But don't they have to banish from one of the same types? I mean, one of the same cards to use it? Yeah, but you can just run three, like Solemn Judgment. I just don't see that being an actual problem or annoying to me yet. Like that, That's annoying, bro. That That is annoying. Like, and then now you got things like Crackdown. It's like, to be honest, a lot of people say the game is too slow for traps. Not anymore. I, I will say that much just because you're able to get so... It, it's too many trap cards in the game now that are good. So and trap like, trick so just like makes more, it that so much better. It's, it's always annoying because it enables traps more. Yes. Yes. Uh, I just... Imagine being able to search your hand trap, Cal. You wouldn't want that. So I, you don't I, want the regular traps? I, I already don't want nobody to search, on, out, just search out Ash Blossom. It's crazy. It's crazy. I feel like trap trick is a really good card. I feel like trap trick is an annoying card. And I hate when I see a trap trick being activated because <laughs> I just know you're about to set the counter to what I'm about to do. And I, it, I just hate to see it. I think you got to disagree with my first and I have to disagree with your last. I just and, can't and see trap know, trick. And, being, then. Everybody can't agree. I just know the type of decks I play. I hate to see trap trick get flipped up. I would have said that. I don't that. mind Ash Blossom. I'm just going to play through it. I'm going to normal summon because <laughs> I haven't normal summoned yet. I was annoyed up to number six. Now I'm just only slightly annoyed. <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I'm more calm now. We only had about six cards on this list. We can mention some more. Oh, I'm sure there are plenty more. And there are plenty I'm, more. I'm sure there are a ton of cards. Like all these generic floodgates. Like, there can only be one. Summon Limit. Oh, it's too many of those. Goals and Match. Summon Limit. But all oh, those in one. That's the way I'm feeling. Rivalry. Those annoying cards. My, we just named a lot of traps. Yeah. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. Traps. <laughs> But that's three. Some of them are three. It's not traps that Trapper can get because they're, <laughs> they're, they're not normal traps. But yeah, they're not normal traps. But but still, they're traps, traps. Learn from Vanny's end. Just put all those, those put continuous all them the one. traps in one. Because they just sit on the field yeah. and stop me every turn. Okay, now I'm back to being annoyed. You see? Yeah, see? Too many continuous trap cards. <laughs> but it that's really, our list. That's it, our list. We want to know. not annoyed by this video. We want to know some of the annoying cards in your list. Like, what are some of the most annoying cards you hate to see? What are some of the cards that are activated and you're like, man, I'm about to lose it? You, you get triggered. You know, leave those down in the comments below. If Let you us haven't know already, angrily. If put you, it like a mean <laughs> face behind it. If you haven't already, man, remember to hit that subscribe button. Like the video. You know, we appreciate you guys at this channel. And make sure you tell down in the comments how much you like the new team APS since we've taken over. The new team APS, because. Paul's in Germany. We don't know why he's in Germany. It's some top secret mission that he's on. We fired the twins. So twins and um, Larry's uh, over there somewhere. What's up, Larry? Trail, I don't know where he is. But uh, that's all we got for you guys today. So, past, I know we ain't saying no pass. We're not saying pass, sir. Peace out. Yeah, new teammates. Peace out.